Today I'm going to teach you how to create this seamless Instagram carousel and we're going to do everything using Canva from our mobile phone. You can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Step number one is to sketch your carousel. This is basically a drawing in which you are going to organize all your ideas and you're going to put them into different sections. So I'm going to show you what I did. I created this one on my iPad, but you can use a piece of paper. This will help you create some layout ideas before designing, which is going to make the design process much faster. I also do recommend that after you create your sketch, you take some time to finalize the copy the text that you're going to insert into your design like this you have everything ready before designing now we're going to create our custom size design in canva but for this we need to know the exact dimensions of our carousel on instagram the dimension for each square post it is 1080 by 1080 so in the sketch that i created for my carousel i ended up with five different pages so i'm going to multiply 1080 by 5 so this is the dimension that I'm going to use for the width of my design and the height it will be 1080 now we're ready to use Canva so let's create our custom size design for this we're going to use this plus icon at the bottom of the screen and then select custom size as I already did my math I know that the width is 5400 and then the height is 1080 create new design here we are in the canva editor now i do want you to upload all the images that you need and also have at hand a color palette and maybe a font combination because this is going to help you speed up the design process i already have my photos ready and the colors that i'm going to use so let's go to the next step a very important step while creating these Instagram carousels is to have guides so we can clearly see where every page is located and also very important is to see the edge of every single page. So as of today, the day that I'm filming this tutorial, we do not have rulers and guides on the mobile app. So let me show you when I click on the three dots. We go here, we can see the margins, but this is not what we are looking for. We don't have guides. So I'm going to show you the trick. <laughs> you just need to go to the plus icon, go to elements and here scroll down until you see tables. Go for the first option, select it. And then from here, if you want, you can go closer to the table, select one of the cells and then tap on the three dots until you see this menu right here. We're going to select the option that says delete row. We're going to do this multiple times until we end up with just one row. Now from here, you're going to select again one of the cells and this time go for the three dots on top and you're going to add a column until the number of columns or squares matches the number of pages on your carousel. In my case, I'm creating a five page carousel. So I already have five cells in here. I'm gonna stop and then I'm going to stretch this table so it fills my Page. Once you have your table stretched, I do suggest that you go to the menu at the bottom, you add some transparency to it, and then you will lock this element. Now we're ready to start designing our carousel. So let's start by changing the color on the background of our carousel. Because we now have a table on our document, we won't be able to access the background. So I'm going to show you a trick so you can do it. Let's go to the plus icon at the bottom of the screen, slide the menu at the bottom of the screen, 
and if you don't see background on the options available go to more and then you will see the background option in here select it and now you can select any color available on this color palette or you can also use images i will go for a solid color now i'm going to start assembling the layout of my carousel so i will add text images and icons for this i will go to the plus icon I already have my images uploaded here on the uploads section. So these are the images that I'm going to use. I'm going to click on them to bring them to my design. And then I will position each image on the page that that image needs to go. My images are not appearing right away when I upload them to the design so I just gave them a couple of seconds and now here they are. From here I can start adding some effects to my images so for the first image my photo I would like to add an effect and this effect is actually available only for Canva producers but you can remove the background of your photo with another platform if you don't have Canva Pro. So I have Canva Pro, so I'm gonna use the background remover. Okay, we have the photo with transparency now, and I will go to the other images because I would like to add a shadow to these images. So here we have shadows, and then angle. I'm gonna tap again on angle, to access these settings and I'm going to reduce the transparency to 20 done and do the same for the other two images now that I have this ready I'm going closer to my design because I would like to start adjusting my images before applying my text so I'm going to tilt these images a little bit to add some flow to my design and I'm also making sure that these images are on the edge of every single page so there is a section of the photo on one page and just a little corner of the image on the next page. This is going to help us create this seamless effect more obvious. On the last page I would like to add some elements so I will go to the plus icon, elements, and from here you can search if you want for heart. This is the element that I want. So I'm going to add it to the design and then move it to the last page. Okay, now let's search for comment. This element that I'm going to use today is a pro element, but as you can see, there are free elements available with a similar shape. And lastly, let's search for a paper plane. Okay, go down below and this is the element that I'm going to use. Okay. Now that I have the elements on the page that I need them to go, I will adjust the size, adjust the color of the elements. I'm gonna leave it like this, but I will come back to keep adjusting these elements. Now let's add text to our carousel. Let's go to the plus icon and search for the text section. From here, you can add a heading can position this in here for the heading of your cover. You will change the color, the font and the size. Once you have these settings ready on your text box, you will go to the menu at the bottom and select more. And from here, you're going to use copy and paste. Now you have a copy of your text box and you're going to position that copy on the second page. You're going to do the same this time i'm just going to select paste and add my text box to the third page then i can do again copy and paste and like this i can create text boxes really fast 
I just need to come back to them and change the text. Okay, so I also need a body text. So let's go again to the plus icon. And this time I'm going to select add a little bit of body text. Again, you can change the settings. I will use format align to the left, color white, and then I'm going to increase the size. Okay, I think this is going to work. Once I have these settings ready for the body text, I will do the same process, more, copy and paste, position it on the third page, and then one more time for the fourth page. I did some changes of camera, so I basically added the copy that I want to have on my design. I also adjusted the elements so they have the right size and they are located in the right place. And lastly, I added this little arrow just to show people that there is more content and that if they swipe, they will find a carousel. Now, if you want, you can select the table by just tapping on the background. Like this, you have the table selected. Go to the menu below, select unlock and then Go to the left and delete. If you want, you can delete the carousel as it is with a solid color in the background or maybe an image if you selected an image from the background section. But I'm going to show you a little trick to make this seamless effect more obvious. So I'm going to add a pattern in the background that if you put it together it looks like a big and continuous pattern so let's go to the plus icon go to elements and search for pattern go to graphics and here you will find the pattern that i'm going to use today this one is a free element so select it and what I will do is to go closer to my design and stretch this pattern until it touches the edge of the page at the bottom and on top. If you want, you can change the colors of these elements. So I guess I'm gonna just leave them all to white. And lastly, I'm going to add transparency to this element so we can still something happening in the background. We can see the pattern, but we can also read the text that is in the carousel. So I guess I'm going to leave it to 8 or 10. And then once you have all these settings applied to your pattern, you're going to more copy, paste, and move it to the side. In here, what I want to do is to go closer to my design and then I will make sure that the design is connected, but that is not overlapping. At the moment, I can see that it is overlapping. So I'm going to select the second pattern and select notch and then start moving my pattern to the right with this arrow until this one is not overlapping anymore. Okay, I think this is looking good. Now what I'm going to do is to select the pattern on page number one. I'm going to tap and hold on the pattern until I see this menu appearing and tap on select multiple. You will select the pattern on page number two and then copy and paste. You will have a copy of your pattern and you will move it to the side. Again, making sure that the pattern is not overlapping or that is not too far away. And then because I just have one page left, I'm going to select the pattern on page number four and duplicate. 
now position it on page number five and I will make sure that it is located in the right place. Perfect. Okay, next step. If you see that the transparency of your elements looks good, you will select them all. So again, I'm going to tap and hold on page number one, select multiple, going to select all the patterns and then hit this option that says send to back. Close the menu and as you can see the pattern is on the background, is behind all the elements on our design. This one is ready to be downloaded and next I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to follow in order to slice this carousel so you can have the single images that you will end up uploading to Instagram. Now we're going to double check that our design is ready, that we don't have any typos, that everything is looking good. And once you think your design is ready to be downloaded, tap on the arrow pointing downwards and it will take a couple of seconds for your design to be saved on your camera roll. Now we're ready to split our carousel and for this I'm going to use this free website which is pinetools.com slash split dash image. Here I'm going to upload my carousel, so choose file, photo library, I'm going to select my carousel, choose and here we are going to select horizontally. You're going to add the quantity of blocks. In that case, it depends on the number of pages of your carousel. I have five pages, so I'm gonna select here five. Okay. On the output image format, I'm gonna leave it as says as input and then move the slider to 100. If the slider is not working, I <laughs> just go to the text box and type 100 and lastly tap on split image. Now I'm going to download every single page from here by selecting these buttons. So I select the button. From here you can download the image or view it. I previously tried to download it but I couldn't find the image on my phone <laughs> so I found this other trick. Go to view if download doesn't work right go to view from here you just tap on the image and add to photos you go back and select the next button view hold on the image add to photos go back and continue doing the same process for the rest of the images Once you have downloaded every single section of your carousel and all the images are saved on your phone, go to your Instagram profile and select the plus icon on top. On this menu, select post. Select the cover of your carousel and then from here, you will make sure that you activate this feature these squares so instagram allows you to add more images to the same post now select the other pages of your carousel and tap next in this section you will be able to preview your carousel and you will make sure that every single page is located in the right position if you see that let's say the page number four is in page number five you just tap on the image and move it to the section where it should go like this okay so my carousel is looking great tap next you will add all your information in here and then share i really really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial if you want to learn how to create this instagram mock-up with a 3d effect i'm gonna leave you guys the tutorial right here and also if you want to enjoy 45 days of canva pro for free i'm gonna leave you my affiliate link in here i really hope that you have a good day and see you in the next tutorial bye